Let's do it. Good evening. The meeting of the Tomball ISD Board of Trustees is called to order at 531. For a record, we have a quorum of the board. All of us are in attendance this evening. The meeting is being recorded in accordance with government code section 551.128. The last night, we had our workshop meeting and we discussed all the items on the agenda. And um, so the voting may go rather quickly, but there are always some items people still talk about. So at this point, we are going to start with our opening remarks that are going to be offered by Mr. Shield. The pledges will be led by Dr. Pratt, and the mission statement will be recited by Mr. Unser. Okay, Mr. Shield. Uh, tonight I have proposed, composed a prayer for us, if you'd like to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us all be here today. Uh, thank you for your work in Tomba ISD. Uh, thank you for uh, having for our school board elections to be done and our new um, trustees to be um, um, sworn in tonight. Uh, thank you for our teachers, our students, our parents. Please bless Tomball, our community, our state, and our country. Watch over our armed forces and uh, be with us through this Christmas um, break. And uh, all the glory be yours. Amen. Amen. Please join me in a pledge of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now the Tomball ISD mission statement. Tomball ISD educates students to become responsible, productive citizens by providing innovative, individually rigorous, and personally valuable educational experiences. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. We will begin this evening by administering the oath of office to our newly elected board members. Ms. Tina Salem for position one, Dr. Michael Pratt for position two, Mr. John McStravick, for position three, no, you're good, just, just hang on, and Mr. Mark Lewandowski for position four. The procedure for tonight will be each newly elected board member to come to the front individually with his or her family. Each board member will then sign the statement of officer in accordance with the Texas Constitution, which requires elected or appointed officers to file a statement declaring that the officer did not directly or indirectly pay, offer, or promise to pay money or other valuable consideration for votes. Next, each board member will take the oath of office. The Honorable Lincoln Goodwin, Justice of the Peace, Precinct 4, Place 1, will administer the oath of office to the newly elected board members. The board member and Judge Goodwin will then each sign the oath of office. I will now turn the meeting over to Judge Goodwin for the administration of the statements of officer and the oaths of office. Okay. Yes, please, right. sir. Right, okay, so thank you, President. You instruct me to come over here. Um, welcome. This feels a little more relaxed than the last time I was with y'all at the uh, debate, and so I love this way more than the uh, <laughs> than the candidate debate. So I see so many sighs of relief. They're like, yes, right. This is a good day, and we celebrate all of our wonderful board members and our board member to be, Miss Salem. So, um, uh, Tina Salem. If you will come on up, you are the first one that we are going to give the oath to. Now, Tina let me know that she had, we first met when she had jury duty. This also is way better than jury duty, right? Okay. And you showed up to this too, which is also good. And so um, what we'll do is just kind of a, a, a brief process here. We are going to, we'll give you your oath if you want to be with your family members. And if you have anything that you want to swear on or Bibles or anything like that, great. Bring them down. Totally up to you. Okay. So, um, I think before we give the oath, we need to sign. Is that right or after? Or does it matter? Where's our lawyer? Does it? Okay, so we'll sign first. Okay.
Where do we want to be? I want, so everybody can see. Can you all see okay? Or do, let's come up here. All right. This way everybody has visibility. Perfect. Now proceed with your oath of office, Tina Salem. So, for position one, Ms. Salem, will you please raise your right hand and repeat after me. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. I, Tina Salem. I, Tina Salem. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duties that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of Tomball ISD of the office of Tomball ISD school trustee position one school trustee position one of the state of Texas of the state of Texas and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend the Constitution preserve protect and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States and of this state and laws of the United States and of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Ms. Salem, congratulations to you. So I just want to say Jennifer, my wife, couldn't be here. We have a basketball game tonight, and so she's uh, being a parent in the stands and really regrets not being able to be here. And so she really wanted me to say that so that uh, I felt supported tonight. And we all know Jennifer, and we like her a lot better anyway. That's right. Congratulations to you, Dr. Pratt. Thank you. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas, repeat the, after me. Got it. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas, I, Michael Pratt, I, Michael Pratt, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will fully, that I will faithfully execute the duties, that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of Tomball ISD School Trustee Position 2 of the office of Tomball ISD, school board position number two. Of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution and laws of the United States and of this state. 
the Constitution, the laws of the United States, of the United States and this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Thank Dr. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes, my wife. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> I thought you were taking a photo. Congratulations to you. Okay. Well, Mr. McStravick, if you will raise your right hand to take the oath. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. I, John McStravick, do solemnly swear. I, John McStravick, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of that I will faithfully execute the duties of the Tomball ISD trustee, trustee position, position one, one position, three. position three. I told you it'd be different. That's okay. Of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution and laws of the United States and this state. The Constitution and laws of the United States and this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You did it. Yeah. All right, photo. So we'll, we'll get you to sign. Oh, first, yep. Let's go back to the other side. Legal documents here. And my son. Okay, so we'll 
kind of be at an angle here, that way you can get pictures. There we go. And then you and I'll show you face each other. All right, Mr. Lewandowski, you will raise your right hand to be sworn. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. I, John McStravick, Excuse me. I, John McStravick. <laughs> so, once a lawyer gets in your brain, it's very difficult. What can you I, say? I, Mark Lewandowski. I, I, Mark Lewandowski. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will faithfully execute the duties. I will faithfully execute the duties. Of the office of Tomball ISD School Trustee Position 4. I will faithfully execute the office the duties of the Office of Trust, ISD, Trustee Position 4. Of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Mr. Lewandowski, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judge Goodwin. We appreciate you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Um, so once again, thank you, Judge Goodwin, and congratulations to the newly elected trustees. I will now step down and turn the meeting over to Vice President McLeod for re or reorganization of the board and election of officers. I would like to say just one, two things before I do that. Um, I. Um, said last night that I was thankful for my family, um, for their love and their great support, and two of them happened to be here this evening, so I wanted to recognize them. David, my husband, and Kyle, my son. Thank you. And my last um, little thing I'd like to say
say is it has been wonderful to be a part of Tomball ISD history. Thank you. Ms. Handler, we'd like to get a picture of you with your family members, if you don't mind. Yes. We'll now proceed with the reorganization of the board. The election of officers for the 22-23 TISD Board of Trustees shall begin. In accordance with Texas Education Code Section 11.061C and Board Policy BDAA Local, nominations shall be accepted for the pre positions of President, Vice President, Secretary, and Assistant Secretary. The offices will be elected in that order. I will serve as the presiding officer until a new president is elected. At that time, the new president will preside over the election of the remaining positions. Once each office is announced and the floor is open for nominations, any board member may place a name in nomination. No second is required. After determining that no further names are to be placed in nomination, the presiding officer will declare the nominations closed. Each nominee will be voted upon in order of the names in order the names were placed in nomination. All in favor will be asked to signify by raising their hand. If a majority of those present and voting is achieved, no further votes for the office shall be taken. If no majority is achieved, the next name placed in nomination shall be voted upon and so on until the office is filled. Before we begin, are there any questions regarding the procedure? The floor is now open for the office of the President of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Vice President, I would like to nominate Lee Lincoln McLeod. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, the nominations are closed. All in favor of Lee McLeod, please signify by raising your hand. Yes, I need to vote. <laughs> I'll vote for myself. As the new president, I will continue to preside over the officer election. The floor is now open for the Office of Vice President of the Board of Trustees. Mr. President, I nominate Mr. John McStravick. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, the nominations are closed. All in favor of John McStravick as Vice President of the Board of Trustees, please signify by raising your hand. All in favor? John McStravick is Vice President of the Board of Trustees. Congratulations, John. The floor is now open for the Office of Secretary of the Board of Trustees. Mr. President, I'd like to nominate Justin Unster for Secretary. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, the nominations are closed. All in favor of Justin Unser serving as Secretary of the Tomball ISD Board of Trustees, please signify by raising your hand. Congratulations, Mr. Unser, Secretary of the Tomball ISD Board of Trustees. The floor is now open for the Office of Assistant Secretary of the Board of Trustees. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to nominate Mark Lewandowski for uh, Assistant Secretary. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, the nominations are closed. All in favor of Mark Lewandowski, please. Mark Lewandowski, serving as Assistant Secretary for the Tumble ISD Board of Trustees, please signify by raising your hand. 
Congratulations, Mark Lewandowski, Assistant Secretary of the Tumble ISC Board of Trustees. Just a few comments as a board president before we move into the rest of the agenda. Uh, six years ago, when I got onto the board, uh, the benefits package offered me was pretty lean. <laughs> Certainly not near as robust as what John or Mark might have with their pensions, and that is obviously a joke. Uh, we are not compensated for this role. This is a volunteer gig. And in all honesty, up to now, the standard issue for new members of the board was a bit like a pair of sunglasses. And all of us have been given those. Did you bring yours? Sure. No, no. Well, you did it. I knew you, I knew you did it, but I brought you some. Oh, thank you. Sunglasses is what we were all given. And Tina, Kathy wore burnt orange sunglasses, but I'm giving you a red pair because that's what we had left. You got, John have a pair? You got a pair? I got a pair. I got a pair. Everybody's we were all given a pair of sunglasses because the conviction in the Tomball ISD Board of Trustees was to sort of move through the world incognito. I remember very distinctly, Kathy, you guys look good by the way, Thank you. Kathy or maybe it was Mark conveying that the board's work was without applause, that the board's work was without fanfare, that the board's work was quiet and unrecognized and it was all about our kids that's the way I came onto the board but things have changed haven't they school boards are seen differently now expectations are different of school board members it is more public and it is more political at least we have the public looking in on us and anticipating our involvement can you imagine being on the water board, where every four years you literally have to remind people there's a water board, and they have to remind you that you need clean water, and that they should be elected to be on that water board. In some corners of the world, this public persona on today's school boards has become rooted in divisive politics and us versus them mindset. And this fall, there was a lot of conversation about what we weren't in Tomball ISD. It's a bit defensive in posture, but maybe you would agree it's a lot more inspiring to talk about what we are. The smartest man to ever live said, the best way to find your life would be to lose it. And he didn't mean to take your life, he meant to simply give it away for the good of others. You find meaning and purpose like never before. It's a paradox of the good life, a life committed to selfless service that we in this Tomball School Board are committed to and will uphold. As a long dead wise man said whoever brings blessing will be enriched and one who waters will himself be watered if you don't see us serving don't blame our disguise kind of used to that but we are getting more used to the public role of the school board member and I mean that would you agree more and more used to that public role because the interest wasn't to ever be in the limelight in this school district for our school board members it was always to serve always to serve if you don't see us serving, again, don't blame the disguise. You're welcome to remind us of the ideals that govern our work. It is printed for all of the world to see on our website. It says this, school board members are guardians of the public trust and through the policies we make, we are ultimately responsible for the success or failure of Tomball's public education. Are we all good with this? We're all good. The board serves as the advocate for edu educational excellence for Tomball's youth, and the board puts the interests of Tomball's youth first. The policies the board makes dictate the standards and philosophy by which our boards, our schools are run, and the criteria used to judge whether they are being run well. And I will say they are being run really, really well. <clears throat> yes. We wholeheartedly commit this coming year to the continued fulfillment of these ideals. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I thank you for the trust and the confidence you have put in each of us as we serve to advocate for the greatest kids in Texas. Thank you. Now, we'll proceed now with the consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve of the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Moved by Mark Lewandowski, seconded by Michael Pratt. Any discussion? 
All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Lift your hand. Aye. I'll figure this out eventually. It's okay. You're doing great. And now let's proceed to the considered agenda. The chair would like to appoint Tina Salem and Michael Pratt to serve on the audit committee. Any discussion? Great all those choice. in favor? Great choice. Great choice. Mm -hmm. okay. All those in favor? Use your right hand. Right. Thank you. The chair would like to appoint Mark Lewandowski and Justin Unser to serve on the policy committee. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you. The chair would like to appoint John McStravick and Mark Lewandowski to the budget committee. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you. The chair would like to appoint Matt Scheel and Michael Pratt to the advocacy committee. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you. I haven't been going through these letters, but that was A, B, C, and D, just so you know. Item E, approve the purchase of 15 school buses in the amount of $2 million 35,700 from Longhorn bus sales using bond 2021 funds. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion made by John McStrapic, seconded by Matt Scheel. Any did I ask any discussion yet? Mm -hmm. No, not sure. Yes. I'm asking now. Any discussion? All those in favor? Use your right hand. Motion passes. <laughs> Item F, approve an order authorizing the issuance, sale, and delivery of Tomball Independent School District Unlimited Tax School Building Bonds Series 2023, setting certain parameters for the bonds, authorizing a pricing officer to approve the terms thereof, levying a tax and providing for the security and payment of such bonds and enacting other provisions relating thereto. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion made by... Mr. Unser, seconded by Mr. Lewand Mr. McStravick. Any discussion? Yes. Yeah, I wanted to uh, just, just make a few comments on this uh, item, item F. Uh, it's something that came up last night. Um, and I just thought, as I did last night, and I'll do it again tonight for the folks that are here in the audience now, uh, we could just have a quick little, little chat, maybe exp explanation about what this is. And, and Jim, since you're at the microphone, I'll probably ask you to confirm that my understanding is correct. I'm 100% confident that Zach Bowles knows this as well, but he's sitting down comfortably. He's worked all day. I'm going to let him, going to let him sit there. But, um, you know, Jim, is my understanding correct that, that this item, item F, you know, we're, we're issuing bonds, right, is, is what we're doing. The district is issuing bonds. We're uh, taking on debt. We're borrowing money in accordance with the bond that was passed last fall. That's correct. Approved by our voters, said, hey, we know, we recognize the district is growing at a very fast rate. We need to build new schools because we can't, you know, stack them or rack them in here. We've got to have the right facilities for our kids. So we need money to do that. So the district is going to borrow money, right? Yes, sir. A reason, uh, a very good reason to do that now is because uh, most folks might not understand, but um, to borrow money cost, can cost money, right? You're going to pay interest on that money. There's good reason to do it now because in the state of Texas, uh, they, they do something wonderful called the uh, permanent school fund, right? Correct. So what that is, is Texas guarantees that when a school district borrows money, if something were to happen, that district couldn't pay it. The state of Texas says, I've got their back. I will pay those bonds back as a, as a guarantor almost, right? That's correct. And because the state of Texas is a great state, second most populous state in this great country, um, we get schools are able to borrow money at the most advantaged rate, right, at a triple-A rating. That's correct. Which is, which is wonderful that the state does that for, for the schools here. But there's a limit on how much money the state of Texas can guarantee and back those bonds, right? Right. And that limit is set not by the state of Texas or our legislature, but the IRS. Correct. The again. federal government does that, right? They set a limit on how much can be, can be borrowed or how much can be backed by the state. And the state is approaching that limit. Maybe there today, we don't know, but sometime in the next period of time, the state will reach that limit and they cannot put their back behind any new 
bonds that districts take out. Correct. However, we have done this ahead of that limit being reached. That's correct. Therefore, we are able to uh, borrow money at the most advantage rate that's possible. Yes. True. Not to mention, we have our own excellent bond rating anyway because of the great financial stewardship that this district has had for the last, I don't know, couple decades at least, right? As long as we can remember. So no matter what, we're going to have good rates anyway, but this is giving us the most advantage rate, right? That's correct. So I, I think it's, it's prudent that we're doing this now. I'm glad to see it. Um, I think it's the right move for us. We're, we're doing the best that we can and doing right by our, our uh, constituents, our uh, uh, parents, our taxpayers out there, being good stewards of, of tax dollars that were supposed to be up here. Uh, so I was very happy to see this come across this month. I thought it was the right time. I was going to ask these questions last night, but I didn't need to. They were already being addressed by our bond attorney that was here last night and yourself and your office that were already doing that. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate everybody kind of having a little bit of patience as we talked through this because the language is, I understand it's legalese and it's like that because it must be, but the average folks at home, and I wouldn't know this either if I had not had the privilege of serving up here. Uh, I figured it out after a number of years what this stuff means, but just maybe a little explanation would be, would be helpful to those out there. Or hopefully folks are watching this at home uh, after it hits um, uh, the website uh, shortly that they can, they can kind of understand what this is and have some clarity and some transparency about what's actually happening up here. Uh, it's, it's a good thing. We're doing things that we said we were doing and we're doing them in the way that is, is serving our uh, taxpayers and our students and our families the best that we can. So I appreciate you just kind of having some patience and grace with me while we talk through that. But I think it's important that we kind of explain those things a little bit, just so folks understand what it actually means. That's all. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, and I'd just like uh, to build on Justin's comments yes. here in our discussion. So th the money that we are borrowing is going to fund the build of West Elementary, West Intermediate, West High School, which will land in the 24, 25, 26 years. Respectively. Respectively, yeah. And then the Early Excellence Academy that will land in August of 2023. And then the elementary, we haven't named that one, that is going to be located at the Tumball Innovation Center. And so we'll work on the date for that one. But we're, we're going into the market, we're borrowing money, because we've got to build brick and mortar buildings to educate, to manage the growth that we've got, tied to bond 2021. Yeah. Thank you. Remind me who made the motion? Justin. Justin, seconded by? McStravick. McStravick. Any more discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion passes unanimously. Item G, approve the recommendation to select Lonnie Lishka Company for Detention Ponds, Storm Sewer, and Earthwork at the 205-acre West Campus for a bid amount of $3,963,451.40 for RFP number 937-23 using bond 2021 funds. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion made by Matt Scheel, seconded by Michael Pratt. Any discussion? Maybe just to point out, this, um, this went through a sealed bid process. Is that, is that correct? Is this one? Um, I saw the scorecard in our, in our backup. Everything was there that you would expect it to be. Um, price is not the only factor, even though this, this um, was the, the best priced bid. But there are other factors in there in terms of, you know, they're not just the cheapest, they're the ones that have the experience, that know how to do this, they've done this kind of work before. So again, just providing a little bit of clarity for folks out there that, you know, there's a process that goes through. This isn't just, you know, somebody that's chosen because they're the cheapest, uh, they're the right entity for that job. So I appreciate that, that diligence on your part. Thanks. Thank you. Any more discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion passes unanimously. Item H, approve the purchase of technology equipment for the Early Excellence Academy in the amount of $166,395.59 from Layer 3 Communications using Bond 2021 funds. Do I have a motion? 
So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Lewandowski and seconded by Justin Unser. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion passes unanimously. Item I, approve the purchase of kitchen equipment for Early Excellence Academy in the amount of $375,949 from Stafford Smith, Inc., using Bond 2021 funds. Do I have a motion? So, um, go ahead. So moved. Second. <laughs> motion by Mr. McStravick, second by Mr. Scheel. Any discussion? Uh, I'm just happy that it's an even number and not have 22 cents on it. So, <laughs> so who bid that out? Thank you just for rounding up or rounding down. Rounding down. It's yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's convenient. Yeah. <clears throat> Any more discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion passes unanimously. We have no one who has signed up for public comment. We will now proceed. Oh, give me one moment. Want to do board comments? We will now proceed to board comments. Do we have any board comments? Anyone? Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. Um, so first off, we, we did get to talk to Kathy a little bit one-on-one -on -one and as a group last night. But again, Kathy, thank you uh, for, for your service to the district these past 12 years. Appreciate it. Um, and Tina, welcome aboard. So uh, as our, our newest trustee, um, so we look for, or I look forward to working with you. I know the board does as well, but congratulations and uh, uh, look forward to four years more working with you and, and uh, in a different capacity. So congratulations. And there's a few people that are out in the audience that I know were uh, part of what I'm calling the, the warriors that um, helped uh, during this election. And I'd just like to acknowledge and thank um, everyone that, that helped um, uh, pull this election through and, and uh, uh, quite honestly get myself and the other incumbents reelected. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate y'all being here in the, uh, in the audience tonight. So uh, other than that, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you in 2023. Anyone else? Did, did out everything John said, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, same kind of same thing. I was going to go welcome Tino for board first meeting. Don't know what quite a, what to do and where you keep your hands at, and but uh, you'll get there. And uh, thank you for Kathy for your 12 years and my six years. So been all been it's all been fun. So we'll see what happens in two more years. Kathy, you'll be missed. And Merry Christmas to all central office folks and admin. And a thank you to all who are here tonight. There's my sweet wife, Jenny. I have to recognize her because she's my better half. I saw your better half out there. She was there. Yeah. 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 But well, she has to go to a meeting. Yeah, I understand. All right. Anybody else? Comments? Tina, welcome. Look forward to again serving with you over the course of the next four years. We've got a lot of stuff to work on, and I'm glad you're here. So welcome. And I'd also like to offer Merry Christmas and thank you to uh, those students last night oh, yeah. that performed that beautifully. The the choir was was special. Um, I know we've had students perform, but it seems like each one just gets better. And that one last night was pretty special. And so I've seen some uh, some communications on that, and I kind of know it. It helped folks kind of start what I think is the, the Christmas spirit, the Christmas season. So thank you. I know that was extra. And so thank you to JD and thank you to the choir director at Grand Lakes and, and all those students. So I know that's extra. And so uh, it was wonderful. And so I appreciate that. Well, just to, to add to that, um, they were junior high students. So just think what they're going to be like when they get in high school. Amazing. It's going to really be great. Tina, I'd like to welcome you to the board and look forward to working with you. And Kathy, thanks for your service and your friendship and look forward to seeing you around. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a happy, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year and stay safe. Help Tina, help Tina turn it on there, yeah. yeah, press hard. You're good.
Well, thank you for welcoming. Looking forward to serving with everyone, and um, Merry Christmas. Glad you're here, Tina. Glad to serve alongside you. Do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. McStravick, seconded by Mr. Pratt. All those in favor? Motion passes unanimously, and the meeting is adjourned. Good job. Good job.